We are now taking orders for the mascot glitch on current gen PlayStation only. If you want us to do this for you, join the Perkulees Discord or hit me up on Twitter or Instagram. All those links will be in the description down below. Make sure you are Cash App or PayPal ready. In this video, I'm gonna be showing y'all boys the best working NBA 2K23 VC glitch for the newest season that you can use to run up your VC. Make sure y'all boys take advantage of this glitch while you can. Drop a like, man. Drop a sub. Turn on notifications. And with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get right into the video. In this video, I will be showing y'all boys two different ways you can do this foul out glitch the first way is going to be the one minute vc glitch this will allow you to make your vc my career salary in about one minute of playing time whenever you do this glitch to get the most vc possible you want to have a max contract to get a max contract you must win the nba finals nb finals mvp and that will give you a thousand vc each time that you do this glitch however if you don't have a max contract you can literally do this on any player as well so for this glitch you want to go ahead and load up your best player that gives you the most vc per my career game Now, once you guys do that, what I would recommend you do is for this one minute VC glitch, go over to your options, go to your settings, put the game difficulty on Hall of Fame because this is going to give you that VC multiplier. Also, put the quarterly on five minutes. This part doesn't really matter because we're going to be in and out of this game within one minute. So, after you guys have adjusted your settings, you then want to go ahead and load up your next mod career game. So this glitch will work better if you're a starter, but it doesn't really matter. But all you guys simply want to do is you want to load into the game and then you want to foul out as fast as possible. Whenever you're on offense, I'd recommend you guys just run out of bounds. You want to get your foul, your fouls as fast as possible. All right, so look, man, as you guys can see, we were able to foul out in one minute of playing time. That's why I call this the one minute VC glitch, because if you guys foul on defense and then walk out of bounds on offense, you can get in and out of these mock career games within one minute. So like I said, you just want to get your fouls as fast as possible. But look man, once you guys file completely out of the game, you'll be in and out within one minute and you'll still get your VC for doing absolutely nothing. And if you put on a Hall of Fame, you'll get that Hall of Fame VC multiplier as well. If you have a max contract, you can get a thousand VC each time that you guys do this glitch. But with a base normal marker salary, you're still getting around 700 VC for each time as well. And to continue to do this glitch, all you simply want to do is load up your next game and repeat for as many games as you would like until you get as much VC as you need. So for this second foul out glitch, in this glitch, you want to get takeover and then you want to foul out. This glitch also works best if you have a player with a max contract. And again, to get a max contract, you have to win finals and be finals mvp which will give you a thousand vc each time that you guys do this glitch so once again you guys want to load up your best player into the neighborhood that gives you the most vc per my career game now once you guys load in the neighborhood go over to your options go to your settings this time you want to make sure that you put the game difficulty on rookie 
or whatever you feel most comfortable with because you do have to get takeover while you're doing this glitch and then you want to foul out. Since I'm doing this on a 60 overall, I'm just going to put the game difficulty on rookie. For the quarter length, I like to put it on 12 minutes for this version of the glitch. Don't worry, we're not going to play this whole entire game. We're going to get takeover, foul out, and then we will still get RBC. But these are going to be the best settings for this version of the foul out glitch. So after you guys have adjusted your settings, all you simply want to do is go ahead and load up your next game. Also, if you go into your progression, I recommend that you put on sharp take if possible, because that will help you with this as you're getting takeover. Also, if you go into your perks, you can also put on accelerator, which will also help you with this glitch. If you put on accelerator, that'll just allow you to get takeover faster. So yeah, man, after you guys have adjusted all your settings, go ahead and load up your next my career game. All right, so look, man, once you guys get subbed in, all you simply wanna do is get takeover as fast as possible. With the accelerator, you can get takeover in like three shots. Without it, it usually takes four, but you guys wanna get takeover as fast as possible. All right, so look, man, here's just what you guys wanna do. As soon as you get takeover, you then wanna foul out. The reason why we're getting takeover first before we foul out is whenever you're in takeover, you will not get subbed out of the game, meaning you can get your six fouls in a row without being subbed out and having to go through all the cutscenes. So once you get takeover, just foul out. You'll be able to foul out without being subbed out, and then the game will go ahead and end, and you'll still get your VC. All right, so look, man, as you guys can see, I got all six of my files in the first quarter, and we've only been in this game for three minutes. I personally feel like the one minute VC glitch is gonna be faster because you don't have to worry about getting takeover, and all, all you have to do is just foul out. But this way, you don't have to go through the cutscenes, so I guess it really just depends. But yeah, man, once you guys get takeover and foul out, you wanna go ahead and let the game run completely out. So once this game is over with, you will get your VC. This, the takeover foul out method does give you a little bit more VC because you did actually score a little bit. However, in my opinion, I feel like the one minute VC glitch is gonna be faster overall, but you can use either one of these glitches to rack up your VC. So yeah, man, drop a like, drop a sub, turn on post notifications. We out, peace.